What's happening guys? Welcome to another video and this week we're just going camping at the speedway. Uh, we're not going to the river anywhere because we are flat out for the next four or five weeks but I thought I'd fit a video in anyway. Any type of video is probably better than none. So tonight we're heading to Mildura. We're going to camp at the speedway. We're going to do a cook up. Uh, tomorrow we'll try and call in and check out Lock 9 back behind Lake Kalalarain and uh, there'll be a little bit of speedway on it but not too much to bore you with but uh, got my son with me we've got Sam over here say hello Sam g'day the speedway's not boring so whoops get this back up here so uh, whoops a little lizard on the road there so that's what's happening, we're heading to Mildura, so we better turn the camera around and show you guys what I'm looking at. And you know what that means, it's time to, come on Sam, start the music. You're no fun Sam, you're supposed to join in. Start the music. How boring, is that good? how boring is he? Unbelievable. I love a good windmill. Okay guys, quick video interruption here. I've nearly finished editing this one and uh, I'm in two minds as to whether I should put it out because it's not really on the river or anything. So uh, I don't know, I'm gonna put it out there because uh, and see what you think. I know it won't get many views, but hopefully a few of the diehards or the ones that uh, follow me a bit more religiously might um, find it interesting. So I'm going to put it out there, but uh, let us know in the comments what you think. We're just flat out for the next three or four weeks with racing. And uh, you're probably wondering, oh, why doesn't he go out by himself? Well, it's just uh, one of those things my son and me do together. And uh, I like being around, especially when he's back on the bike now. Uh, it's a bit more dangerous, so I just... Uh, good to be around in case something goes wrong. So what's going to be happening is uh, we're back at... Gilman this week so we won't be going anywhere to film but we are going up to Port Piri for the Sunday to test his long tracker out so I might put another video up of that we're going to be camping up at the new long track speedway at Port Piri the following week we're back at Mildura for the state uh, wingless title uh, the week after that we are at Wakery which is one I can take the caravan to Sam can go up separate uh, Ramco is where I want to camp so that's only about 10 minutes from the track so that will be a camping video then we're off to Bathurst the week after where he's racing uh, the long track masters that's on the 2nd of March so if anyone up at Bathurst way is interested in that sort of thing um, that's where we're going to be on Friday for the practice I think it's the 1st of March and racing is at the Bathurst showgrounds on the 2nd of March so that's what's happening I'm going to put a couple of these little videos up of us uh, camping at the track and stuff if you don't like them let me know in the comments but um, I thought any video is probably better than no video at all so uh, hope you're all well and uh, we'll just have a bit of a look here at a beautiful tail and bend so beautiful day today it's about 5.30 in the afternoon and we've got a bit of a southerly, southwesterly breeze I can tell because it's calm over there the other side of the river by those willows and that's about southwesterly where the wind comes in and as I always say the river flows to the left with that wind it looks like it's flowing to the right but that's actually upstream and downstream is to the left and probably about 30 kilometers to Lake Alexandrina okay let's continue on with this video and uh, sorry about the interruption but I uh, thought I'd just explain what's uh, going on with the videos for the next few weeks so I'm a bit pissed off I'm not doing the camping ones but uh, there's a few other priorities too so we'll catch you back in the video righto guys so this is our camping trip and what we get up to when I'm not by the river 
we're here at Mildura. It's stinking bloody hot. Probably about 100 degrees, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. See what another three hours before racing starts. Sam's just getting the car set up, checking the track out. So uh, we'll catch you later on, show you a little bit of the racing, not too much. Don't want to bore you. If you want to watch it all, you can watch uh, Martin Motorsports. I'll leave a link in the description. But we, we will be doing a bit of a cook up later on. Road number two with James Rodder, Jenna Kerber, Sam Martin, Anthony Tapley, and Tom Norville. Lights are out. Set for a start with open wheel madness. He race number five. We agree. Sam, Hildura, Tower Bill Series. Been spending a bit of time on the solo and now we're back on four wheels. Yeah, yeah, had a bit of a skid on the solo. Um, yeah, had a meeting at Gilman not long ago. Had a few of the top guys show me the way around. It's sort of a bit of an eye opener from when I used to ride. So, yeah, a bit of fun though. Kept it the right way up and didn't break any bones. So, pretty happy about that. So, how are we feeling going into tonight? Good. We've um, had a couple of mares pretty much the last two meetings. So, tonight, I like this track. Well, last time I was here, I liked it. So hopefully we can have a good night. Um, probably gone a bit wild with our setups the last two meetings. So we're just going to tone it back a bit and just make it nice and easy to drive and try and stay out of trouble. See if we can have a good result. Just get back to that comfortable spot. Yeah, pretty well. We just keep sort of cross tiptoeing over that line that's just a bit too tight. And you know we're learning. So um, I think we, even though we've had two bad meetings, we probably learned a fair bit from those two meetings. So. Yeah, tonight we'll just tone it back a little bit and hopefully try and probably the goal is to make it into the A and then we'll just see what happens from there. Nice big wide track, anything can happen. So if we get the right setup, yeah, hopefully we can sort of get close to the front of the field. Exactly. All right, we'll talk to you later. Cheers. Catch you, mate. Okay guys, 16th in the A main, not bad when he probably did the last quarter of the race without a shocker, there's supposed to be a shock absorber sitting in there, so it's snapped off here and down there, so Sam's out in the track now looking for it so we can uh, hopefully fix it. Okay guys, I don't know how much I've shown you this but uh, we've all finished, it's in one piece. He had a bit of trouble in his first race, uh, didn't finish it when he was coming third. And then his last one, uh, heat, he went from sixth to second, which is pretty good. And then uh, had to go in the B main, made it to the A main, but this shock broke right off. See you later. So yeah, that shock broke right off uh, halfway through the A main. So he putted around and got 16th, I think, but pretty good night. We always learn a bit. And it's in one piece and going back into the trailer. And uh, we better cook up a barbie pretty soon. We're going to camp tonight. We've got a few camping down here. Still pretty warm, I'm guessing. Probably still about 24 degrees. 20 degrees, something like that. So I don't think we'll be starting any fire. 
but uh, we'll get the barbecue going and we'll do a bit of a food review. Okay guys, we've had a couple of drinks here tonight, but we've, uh, we'll get the food review ready. We've got a few sausages and a few uh, loin chops off the farm that Sam works on. Okay guys, time for the food review. Those sausages were absolutely brilliant. The chops off the Martin farm, brilliant. I'm going to give it uh, 8.3, that's my review. Now we've got a couple of other guys over here that uh, sort of follow the channel a bit. Oh no, that's me. Oh, we're at a 7.9 over 7.9. 3.5, Tommy. Oh, Andy. I'm just salty. Andy, 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 Andy. 3.5, shithouse. I right, can't believe that. Ben. <laughs> Got to be at least a 7.5. 7.5. And, and, and that's my review. Cook me food, Tom. It's 12. 12 out of 10. <laughs> it's a, there we go. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Here's Sam. Just a 6. 6.0. So you can't do a oh, six. I can do point, whatever that. You cannot do. I can a, do whatever I want. It's six point zero. You can't do a six point zero. That's oh, illegal. What did you give it, Andy? A, a three point six. I went up. That's my review, Bobby. You realise oh, they were my sausages you were eating. They are. Time to look at what I'm looking at and start the music. Oh, they're right. burning now. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. All right, they're going to go down to three point three now. It's time. <laughs> What, what, what's the time, guys? It's just, time to start the start music. The music. <laughs> oh, these guys, unbelievable. Look at that, that looks so good. 3.8, get out of here. Okay, we got Nate here. We need a food review from Nate. Second in the feature tonight. Come on, Nate. Well, the chops are actually... Hang on, hang on, Nate. We've got to turn the, get the microphone around. Okay, Nate, let's go. Well, the chops are actually pretty good. I give them a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, the sausages I just finished up with, and they were actually really nice. I'd give them at least an 8.5, maybe a 9 out of 10. Okay, guys. It's, it's not all beer and Skittles, being a YouTuber. Sometimes you've just got to make the most of what you've got. <laughs> I don't know what these guys are doing. I'm going to bed, but uh, it's a hard life, but uh, I can handle it. <laughs> Look at these idiots up here. <laughs> Rightio, we're off to bed. Hang on, where's the switch? There you go, we're out, I'm in bed. It's four o'clock in the morning, and I'm out of here. See you in the morning.